Now, I can't wait to see how badass Valkyrie really is in the movie. Well, from the trailers, they show a bit, but, you know, I just want to see a lot more. And I hope they explain her relationship with Hela. Now, I know they changed Valkyrie up for, uh, for the movie, but still, it uh, should be fascinating to see what she's all about. Now, I hear her combat abilities are much better than Thor's. I mean, yes, Thor has raw power, uh, but I would pick a skill over raw power any day. I mean, if all of a sudden your power is taken away from you, you still have your skill. You know, and Thor is, yeah, he's reasonably, he could, he could fight, but he's not as skillful as she is. Now, on Sakaar, uh, she's a bounty hunter slash scrapper serving the Grand Master. And once Thor arrives, he finds out Valkyrie, which is a fellow demigod, doesn't view Asgard uh, with the same level of romance. He also finds out she is not known as Valkyrie on Sakaar, but SR-142. Now, the fans will also find out that Valkyrie is a big break from the Marvel Comics version. Now, this is a quote from Winterbaum. Uh, Valkyrie in the comics is traditionally the character Brunhilde, who comes to be known as Valkyrie. Calling someone Valkyrie is like referring to someone as soldier or view of the Valkyrie in the MCU is that they were basically Odin's special ops, his SEAL Team 6. Valkyrie as we meet her in this film has definitely suffered the trauma of war and we meet her in a really low place. Well, I guess the car is, you know, that's the low place, obviously. Uh, so it's not so much that we're trying to create a one-to-one -one emulation of Brunhilde from the comics. But certainly, the idea of Valkyrie and what they mean to Asgard and to Odin is something that we're going to be learning into a lot and draft a lot of ideas from the comics. So that's interesting of itself. Now, it seems that the writers and directors and the producers may be hiding her Asgardian roots as one of Odin's greatest warriors. Of course, we'll find that out in the... Um, it seems obvious, but you know we're going to find more about that in the movie. Now, we know that Ragnarok is a story about Thor proving his worthiness to lead the uh, to lead and return to Asgard with his honor intact. Now, it may not be his story alone. Now, uh, she's, this is a quote from Winderbaum. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Anyway, uh, she's, that's one of the producers of uh, Thor. Uh, she's seeking redemption and she wants to face her fears and again without giving any spoilers away It's the basis of her character and the fact that she's here is due in large part to her story with Thor and Thor getting her to that emotional place So it seems that she's probably like withdrawn and she's given up and then Thor comes along and then well anyway We'll, we'll see in the movie. I don't want to speculate right now um, so it's interesting the, to find out what their past is and uh, what if they're going to have a relationship in the future, but I don't think so. I think uh, they're just uh, trying to get out of there, of course. So um, yeah, I can't wait to see the movie and uh, we will see just uh, how events will turn out.